Yeah, whatever. You also smell. You are an idiot. Maybe I need to learn to communicate better. That is a problem. You are a phenomenal idiot. You're just an idiot. What are we, idiots? I'm not an idiot. You idiot. You, sir, are an idiot. And again, you know what? It's starting to grow on you. Like a, like a, like a fungus. Good evening, everyone. North America, Northern Colorado, Greeley, and all points in between. I'm Scooter McGee, and I'm sorry. <clears throat> Just let you know now. First of all, any and all views expressed on the Scooter McGee show do not, we repeat, do not represent those of CBS, the station, the owners, the management, the employees, the interns, the mascots, or anyone else. So having said that, I'm going to tell... Oh. And of course, it's been deemed hazardous to your health, of course, by the Surgeon General, the Department of Homeland Security, and the Commissioner of Major League Baseball. Any use, misuse, or reproduction of this product will result in a long legal battle, which we will win, and result in an all-expense, one-way trip to Gitmo. Now, <clears throat> tonight, I hope you've all got your homework done, kids. I hope we've got our clothes laid out for tomorrow. We know the weather. We know the sports. Now we get to polish the tinfoil hats. Tonight, my guest is going to be Mark McClandish. Let me just give you a brief run-up on who he is. He grew up with the interest in aircraft like many kids did and other models of transportation from a very, very young age. He joined the Air Force, and later he made use of the GI Bill. Because that's what he did. He said, okay, I'm going to join the military, get out, and just run to college. So he attended Art Center for the College of Design. He later worked for a short time in the Hollywood special effects business as a matte artist. And then he was hired by General Dynamics Corporation in Panoma, out in California. He was a technical illustrator and a technical publications editor. During this time, Mark was also given the opportunity to participate. Uh, sorry! I'm still upset about the seventh hole. During this time, Mark also was given the opportunity to participate in the number of media orientation rides, okay? So that means when you see the guys on TV, the news, the news guys, the real news guys, not kooks like me, but they get to strap in the second seat and they get to go fly with the Thunderbirds and the Angels and the F-15s and the F-16s, etc. This is the guy who coordinates all that. Now... In 1986, Mr. McClandish became aware that the United States military was in possession of some things, some stuff. They've got stuff. That's all I'm going to say for right now, because you have to run to the kitchen, grab the tinfoil, grab the kids, lock them in a room, because you're, you're going to want to hear this. This is about reverse engineering. This is, uh, now, uh, with an interview I did with Stanton Friedman, okay, now what products would we see out there? They're out there. Oh, you're not going to feel well. You're going you're gonna to want to make get your whoopee. I know it's early, but again, you should have all your work ready, ready for tomorrow. It should all be done. All the homework's done. We're ready to rock and roll. Because Houston, we have a problem. There is clearly reverse engineered technology under our noses. It's here in the control room. I'm, this isn't funny. That was in 1986. So Mark McClandish decided to start his own research as to how does this work and <clears throat> every four-year-old child, where did this come from? And the news is going to startle you. That's all I can tell you. You're not, it, no, it's not funny. So... <clears throat> I don't care what you're doing, call your friends, call your enemies too, go get the news, the top, the bottom of the hour, get it when you want it over at 1310kfk.com. Stream for free, send your friends the link, call me the kook, call me the idiot, but once you start hearing some of the devices that have been reverse engineered, where did they come from? The communicators, I loved the Motorola flip phone for one reason. It was kind of like Captain Kirk's. Stick around. My guest tonight, Mark McClandish. We are going to discuss reverse engineering. And you're not going to feel well. And it won't be my fault. But do me a favor, stick around.
show on 1310 KFKA. News Talk 1310 KFKA, named best newscast in a major market by the Colorado Broadcasters Association. Why get your news from anyone but the best? Hello, Landmark Communities. Hi, I'm looking for a great, affordable new home. Got it. I really want a place that feels like a real neighborhood. Got it. Do you have anything next to Park Lake Trail to open? Hey, we got that too. Wow, you guys really have all okay, the things. Well, Landmark communities like nothing else. See for yourself at any one of Landmark's three great neighborhoods. Homestead in Greenlee, next to Homestead Park, Orchard Park in West Evans, across from St. Michael's, and Lighthouse Point in Windsor, in Water Valley South. Or visit us online at landmarkcommunity.com. It's time to party till the cows come home at the third annual Greeley Blues Fest, Saturday, June 9th at the Island Grove Regional Park in Greeley. Nearly 12 hours of continuous music.